All right, how's it going, everybody? So, just giving you a little update on my little Martha tent. Um, so I'm running the uh, humidity uh, inkbird, and then also the temperature inkbird. Uh, these things are awesome, by the way. So you're about to see my humidity is set at 90. Um, I'm just testing it out right now. I actually have nothing in here that I can use it. Uh, but when it drops down to, I think it's 87, it'll kick back on. Um, and then it'll go ahead and, you know, it's holding humidity pretty well. I do have some stuff down in there just getting ready to cook. And that's my little makeshift fan box. Uh, I'm not sure how I like that yet. And then my humidity controller. Well, let's see if I can drop this humidity for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. How awesome this is. I'll explain why I'm running the temp one as well. So that's not going to kick on. Of course not. Let me put in this one. This one's ready. All right, hold on a second. Here we go. Should I kick my fan on just to uh, deplete down the uh, humidity? It, it'll happen pretty quick. It takes no time. I also got a little old school reptile one in there. This is up high and it's reading 70, so that means my top top shelf is 70, but it's, you know, nothing's there, so. All right, so there it goes dropping down. Got it set at 87, so as soon as it went below 87, it kicked on. Turned, turned on my fogger. And watch how fast it gets it back up there. When the fan running, it'll actually uh, stay humid for quite a while. As soon as you kick that fan on it. You know, blows it away from the sensor down there. Doesn't mean it's not still humid in there, just means it just pushed away the air. So, all right, so now it's starting to climb back up. This is just a little reptile fogger, so I suspect I'll get a whole week out of this and fluid instead of when I was running it all day. Uh, it was only uh, giving me a day's worth. There he goes, it's climbing pretty fast now. You notice my temps in there. The temp's at 67 degrees, and that's actually inside the tent. That's the temperature inside the tent. Um, I got a little uh, container down there with water in it, with a pool filter in it. Um, that's why you can see the work lights on, as in it's turning back on, or it's staying on. So it's heating up that water. It's a little cold in there for my mushrooms, in my opinion. Here, I got the AC on behind me, cooking. All right, I have this set at 90 uh, plus or minus three. So when it gets down to 87, it goes in and kick back on. So you'll see it kick off here in, in two degrees and it's off. So my work light went off right there telling you it's not working anymore. Granted, the, the sensor's in the middle of the tent, um, which I don't think you can see it, but it's down there. Um, so it's in the middle so I got the lower level and the higher level I heard a little bit different humidities but it's still pretty good all right I'll show you a little so right there is my fish tank heater and uh, water uh, that will just help control the humidity as well and it'll definitely keep the tent heated up a little bit well, I got a little tiny reptile, reptile fogger working pretty awesome so you notice it's still climbing a little slower but it is and it'll take a while to dip back down to I would say a good 30 minutes and then the fog will kick on for not even two minutes and back to humidity you are all right guys I recommend these guys that's about I'd say that's about 70 to 80 dollars total between the both and if you're trying to do a DIY mushroom room in your house yeah, that'll work I would say Martha tent probably any bigger than this you'd probably struggle so all right, guys. Thank you.